spending it to my guys, man. They did a great job catching. You know, I think Jahad looked really, really good. Colin, Robon, and Sam, I think they all went out there. They did really, really well. They helped me out as well. So that's also Evan Rodriguez, he did a great job. You were there talking to the Miami Dolphins guy for a good bit. What were you guys talking about? Well, I mean, we were just talking about like personal life because I'm his son played this on his team, and you know we was just having conversations and just talking. You know, just talking about the past couple of years that he's been visiting, playing, watching us, watching us play. So, you know, he says he's enjoyed it, and we also just, you know, just caught up with one another. You know, we've had previous conversations before. Did you, did you get your forty time back yet? Uh, yeah, it's one. The guy from Jacksonville said I'm at four six seven. What is it like to have every NFL team in here to watch you throw? Oh uh, man, it was great. You know, just to go out there and display what I can do. You know. You know, not getting a combine invite or a senior bowl game or any game at all. Just, just you know, I was able to just go out here and prepare myself for the for the best day I could have today. Does and it remind you of high school a little bit? If uh, I remember correctly, you were kind of overlooked in high school. Yeah, it do. And, and that's just the way it is, you know. But that's that's when that's when you rise to the top. You know, I just go out there and compete at a high level. And, you know, I ain't afraid of, you know, go out there and compete. And that, that's, that's my mentality, go out there and be, be the guy I am. Um, this is Last time you and Jihad, we yeah. asked him about it too. We're technically going to be teammates. How about yeah. that? Uh, we don't know yet. They still got another couple months. Anything can happen within you know these next couple months. So I'm, uh, I'm looking for. We might link back up. Who knows? You know, we we got faith in it, and, and, and I think we'll believe that we can you know get back together at some point. You've had a lot of good times together, though, right? Yeah, we had the, the best times. You know, we we've been throwing, and we're gonna keep. We're gonna, we're gonna continue to throw. Keep getting keep getting each other better. Start him making plays with one another, helping each other out, uh, letting me know what he's comfortable with. I'm gonna let him know what I'm comfortable with. Do you have a sense for how unique that is? I mean, high school teammates, college mm -hmm. teammates. I mean, to be together that long. Yeah, it's maybe great. Maybe Pop Warner. Yeah, it's great. You know, we play AAU basketball because the house always like a year younger, or a couple months younger. He had a late birthday, but uh, just being around him, I was with him when he got back from the combine that Sunday. We went out. Uh, his family threw him a welcome home party. You know, I spent a lot of time with him that day. It was great. You've been out in California. What have, what have you been up to? I was out in Colorado. I mean, Colorado. Yeah, I was out in Colorado, man. It was it was great, you know, the out there with the Jenkins Elite guys. And it was just every day a grind, man. We was up at 530 working. And from there, you know, it showed today what, what everything was doing. I had fun, too, you know, just being around those guys. Then, you know, they brought me in like a like a family member. I stayed at Jim Tim house, and it was all love from there. Did you train with Jihad or, or any other Temple guys out there? Nah, it was just me by myself. Where? What's your plan for, for up until the draft? Where, where just are you going to train at? Continue to work out, continue to get better and better. You know, continue to get, uh, continue to play football, continue to just keep throwing to my guys, my receivers. You know, they all going to be around. And we all going to be around this area, so we're going to continue. I'm going to also throw to the guys I played with in the past years, Ventel, Kirkwood. I'm going to continue to use those guys as well. So you're going to be around here in, in yeah, Jersey? I'll, yeah, I'll be around here in Jersey. Phil, who were you working with uh, in Colorado specifically? Uh, and what were some of the things leading up to the pro day workout that you were trying to find? Tonight? I worked out with Tim Jenkins. Uh, got a company called Jenkins Elite. And uh, leading up to the pro day, we just consistently, you know, made sure, wanted to make sure we was going to be fine, you know, coming out here and throwing. And, you know, I thought I thought I did pretty well with the script that he he, he, uh, he scripted. You know, we didn't really – so it was like we had to watch our best throws and see what we wanted. But, you know, I thought – I felt like we threw every route, you know, NFL team might throw in the NFL. I think I did pretty well. And I also, you know, got some some reps that I didn't actually get that was like at the combine, things like that, like a six-step out, the post corners and everything. I got that on tape, so from there on up. What do you think you proved about yourself here in your temple? Not today, in yeah. your Temple group. Going back to the idea, you said you felt like you were underrated. What do you think you proved there, and what's an NFL uh, team that gives you a shot at? I, I, I can play, man. The height doesn't. The height's not in the way. The height's not a factor, you know. I've done it for the past four years. You know, I've played behind a big old line. We got Deion Dawkins at the top down, round draft pick. Played behind Cody Booth. He played in the league, and uh, it's just guys, Cal friend. All those guys is there that I've played behind, you know, just to get the opportunity to compete. And just show what I can do. I know I can spin a rock. And I know I can go out there and throw the ball. And I know I'm intelligent enough to pick up an offense quickly. Do you, do you expect to get drafted or do you think I you do. have to go free? I do. I, think I, I do expect to get drafted just because I know I, I, what, I, what I displayed out here today is, you know, it's pretty good. What was the game plan today? Was there something that you were trying to showcase specifically? Uh -uh. It was go ahead and make, make, just make throws, you know, be consistent. Uh, I don't think no throw was too easy, you know. We started off with some quick game, but... From there, it was just downfield, taking shots. You know, I missed a couple of good balls. I was afraid to throw it as high as I wanted to. 
just because of the ceiling, but, you know, just go out there and compete. And uh, I think there were eight guys here from Jersey, eight, yeah. eight Temple guys from Jersey. What's mm -hmm. that uh, New Jersey high school football, what does that say? Uh, it's a big thing, you know, we got a lot of players that can play. And I think this team was full of a lot of guys that started these past couple years. Like, are they, they from Jersey, you know, we... I think, you know, we got the opportunity to come here together and we build a, a close relationship, you know, and not just with the Jersey guys, with everybody that come here in Florida. We make them guys feel like they home, you know, for Thanksgiving. They, we bring them to our house, like this family all, all around here. Dion kind of sounded like he had a little bit of a chip on his shoulder that he was overlooked. Did you have that in your college career? Uh, yeah, you know, I just, I tried to go out there and prove everybody wrong every day. And, you know, the mentality I had, I felt like I was the best one on the field every time I stepped on it. You know, it wasn't an arrogant way. It wasn't anything like that. It was just me going out there, knowing I'm gonna play at a high level. Going back to Jihad, what do you think he's he, like? What do you see in him as a player at the next level? He what can, can he bring? He can do it all, man. Special teams. He's gonna be a great slot receiver and running back. You know, he's gonna be one of them guys that you you put on a linebacker. He's gonna dominate, man. But I'm looking forward to see what, what teams do with him. And I think he's once he get the ball in his hands, everybody know how electric he is. He's gonna make plays for a team. I know that for a fact. From the feedback you've gotten so far, what do people kind of at the next level like about your game? What do you think you can work on? I, I haven't gotten any things that I can work on, but they said that they like the way I can spin it. Really, that's really it, you know. As of right now, I haven't been any hearing anything. So I'm going to just go out there and tell you what I've been doing. And that's been working, working to do, you know, just be the best I can be. And, you know, just try to increase my draft stock, however. Obviously, a lot of things people talk about is height and quarterbacks. How yeah. do you think you can kind of get around, I guess, that? Uh, three years ago, it was a Super Bowl winner. He's 5'11", in my opinion. So at, at the end of the day, Drew Brees won one. He's about 5'11", in my mind. You know, we got Russell. Uh, there's guys out there that's not tall that play quarterback. And, you know, Drew Brees and Russell Wilson are pocket passes. I've played in a pocket passing system. So I think I've shown that I can do it. And, you know, that's other guys. That's the other guy's perspective. I'm not your prototypical size quarterback. I got put, I'm, I'm heavy enough. You know, I also can put on weight, but I think that I've thrown and I've shown people that I can play from the pocket, and that's that's my game. What was the official height weight for? Uh, I was 5'11", two, uh, 214. And then a two-part question for you. Um, one, initial thoughts and impressions of the new coaching staff, and two, one or two players that we should keep an eye on for next year. Uh, that's a good one. I, like, I love the coaching staff. I love Coach Kyle. I love what he's doing here, you know. The swag he's bringing, the energy, the the thing, the, it's just ferocious every day. He, the guys don't know what's what's coming up next day. You know they got workouts. They know twelve hours ahead. I'm like, man, I don't know if I could do. I could have done that. You got to prepare your mind and your body for workouts. They got twelve hours to do it. But you know it shows the it shows the tough guys we got on this team, man. In my opinion, the two guys I think that y'all should keep your eye on is Ventel Bryant. That's a fact because he's been in the ball for the past two years. And I think Adonis and Keith Kirkwood. Those three receivers are going to be dominant. All right.